Hi guys, it's Mel. I'm doing a video response for Scraps and Things 1. She's doing, it's Misha there, and she's doing a surprise challenge giveaway um, for getting 200 subbies. And so congratulations Misha on your subbies and thanks for doing this great giveaway. It's a surprise giveaway, so we don't know what the gift is yet. Um, but I just want to do this video response. So to do, to enter, you have to um, answer some questions for Misha. So her first question is, what part of the world am I from and where do I live? I'm from uh, Ontario, Canada. I was born in Ontario and I still live in Ontario. I live about five hours drive east of where I was, where I grew up and still have family home. So I get to see people as, as often as possible. Ontario is a great place to live. I really like it um, here, but the winter is harsh and a lot of you in the northern states got the same storm that we got, um, so uh, you know what that's like. So we do get snow most, most of the time throughout the winter, snow and ice and freezing rain, um, but it's beautiful as well, so it's a bit of a compromise I guess. Uh, the second question is my favorite craft shop that I go to regularly. Um, I regularly go to Michael's. There's two Michael's, um, two, one in each uh, city. They're about a 45 minute drive each direction for me. And so that's the easiest place for me to go. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite. Michael's has a lot of the stuff that I use or that I want to use so that's convenient I also like to poke around at art shops and hardware stores and just find different little bits and pieces that um, I might like to use there's also a couple of really nice scrap stores independent scrapbook stores um, in each of the cities that are close to where I live so I really like going um, into them. I like any craft craft store or scrapbook store. I just like to look around and, and think of projects I can do with everything I see. Um, my favorite paper craft. Um, I, I really, is this, the third question is, what is my favorite paper craft? And right now, I would say that probably doing minis is my favorite thing to plan and work on. I used to do a lot of quilling when I was younger and I haven't done it for a few years but I would like to try to get back into that as well. One day I'll do a video showing some of my quilling. And the fourth question is a bonus question that Misha, Misha said uh, we could answer. And that question is, what, which one of her videos um, ha inspired us? So, Misha, I really liked uh, several of your videos. I really, I really like your videos. I really uh, thought that your snow people were so super cute. They are adorable. And I've looked at that video several times. <clears throat> their little faces and their little hearts, they're really cute. And I also really like the video you did um, where you crocheted flowers and made a bouquet for your mom. I thought that was really pretty and a nice gift and I I know you said in your video that you were looking for something um, that she could enjoy with her situation and I thought that was so kind and thoughtful um, and sweet of you to think of that idea. Um, that was just really inspiring to me um, as much as seeing your beautiful crochet. I do not crochet. I do not know how to do that and anyone who can crochet or knit, I just think you are making magic come out of your fingers. I think it's the most amazing thing. Um, so those are my answers and congratulations again Misha on your subbies. I see that you've surpassed your goal of 200 and um, thanks very much for this opportunity to enter. Bye everyone, have a good day.